Hi, welcome to the three minute neck pain causes video. I'm Dr. David Warwick of Lacey Olympia, Washington and author of Back and Neck Pain Relief book, short term care for your neck and back pain and not one single visit more. You know, sometimes if you're experiencing back pain, many of us can have or some of us have experienced, you know, a limited motion where there's a kink in the neck. Uh, we've done something to turn our neck the wrong way and all of a sudden this lightning bolt or energy, um, type of feeling where it's just pinching, grabbing. Maybe we had a car accident or we were simply reading in bed or watching TV and all of a sudden the neck started bothering you and just trying to get into that comfortable position. So let's look at the various types of tissue generators of pain. And the first one is muscles. Many layers of muscle in the neck and the back. The first ones that we want to talk just briefly about are the intrinsic and those help stabilize the spine. There's extrin extrinsic mus muscles that tend to be the long and strong ones that you tend to use, you know, for activities and both of these types of muscles can become fatigued, especially if we have certain repetitions of work that we do, um, such as looking down at our cell phone. Let's, the second one is ligaments. These are the tough, non-stretchy tissues in the body that basically connect bone to bone. When those joints are out of alignment or have excessive play to them, so to speak, that wears down the actual cartilage. That's that silky coloring over the bone and it creates premature osteoarthritis. Worn joints, the third one, a lot of times the joints which are the in the neck are the facet or uncinate processes um, can become worn or out of place and as well. Like, a, you know, when we spoke of just briefly here earlier, starts OA or osteoarthritis. Disc injury, that's the fourth one. The discs are like our shock absorbers and they're supplied by a lot of nerve and artery uh, type tissues or the nerves communicating with those and the shock absorbers have essentially a jelly or donut like shape with layers of tissue around them called the annular rings. A lot of times when those rings start to get ruptured or stressed you know it can cause them to actually tear through uh, types of trauma or repetitive motions or just living life and that disc can herniate, ultimately pinching on the nerve. And fifth, let's talk about nerve compression. Nerve compression is what you typically feel when pain travels down the arms or legs, and you feel it as numbness, tingling, burning, um, feeling that can occur either in the skin or down, down the extremity. As a chiropractor, we test that, those areas through reflexes and muscle strength to see if the nerves are being pinched. Number six is the diseases. Those are things that we talk about. Rheumatoid arthritis, meningitis, cancer, and those, you know, those are determined by blood studies or proper scans like an MRI or a CT uh, to, to, to determine that kind of thing that, of what's going on. So what do you do? You make an appointment with your local chiropractor who takes a thorough history, physical exam, and a possible x-ray uh, to see what's causing or generating your pain. If you've been experiencing pain for a while and looking to understand more about possible procedures or things that you can do at the office as well as at home or work in managing that neck pain and get back to your normal activities, give our office a call. I'm Dr. David Warwick of Warwick Chiropractic. Visit my website at drdavidwarwick.com. Thank you for watching.